did just spend like five minutes setting it up. Well, this is gonna be really weird. Can you even see my face? Can you even see my face? There. So, I'm sitting on my toilet. Does this audio sound worse than it did out there? I'm really sorry. If this is just the worst video on my channel. Let's go to my dining room. Okay, so my camera kind of... I think it gets me, I think it gets my whole, my whole face and everything. I've been spending all day. It sounds so echoey in here. Where can I go that's not echoey? Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is the only place in my house that does not have a vent or is echoey, so I guess I'm filming in here. If you can see my feet, I apologize. <laughs> also, please don't judge me for what's in this pantry. Okay, today I am going to be talking about Possibly. You already know what movie I'm going to be talking about today. If you like this movie, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. I can literally hear myself echoing in the next room. Whatever. If you like... Oh, that's that? I am spooked. That shook me. That... Okay, The Shape of Water. It won awards. So, I was watching this movie the other day. I'm so sorry I forgot this person's name. I said before I make this movie, I'm going to look at the name of the video and the person that made the movie and mention them by name. But I didn't. So I'll just put their name on screen right now and then the video I watched. And it's basically like a... You know, a lot of movies do this, like Beauty and the Beast, Hunchback of Notre Dame. They do the beautiful woman and her monster. And like Frankenstein, whatever, did this, whatever. Um. Ah! Okay, sorry. In the thinking process right here. So, The Shape of Water. I watched this movie. I know it has an award, Best Picture, I think, award. I don't watch award movies because Nicolas Cage doesn't have many of them, so why bother, am I right? This movie has an award. And that utterly shocks me. I, The Shape of Water, Guillermo del Toro. I have seen movies of his before, and I've enjoyed them. It's just this this movie was so disturbing. Oh my gosh. Okay, Beauty and the Beast, Tale as Old as Time. Uh, that joke is definitely stolen from that person's video that I'm should have put their picture, whatever. That movie, they make... First off, the Beast was originally human, and at the end of the movie, turns into a human. So, it's not 
completely bestiality art. Does that make any sense? Um, also, they give him characteristics of a human. You know, he's able to express thoughts. I don't know. He's He can talk. He can be understood. He can understand what other people are saying. Um, and then, of course, he turns it back into a human, so it doesn't make it that bad. I'm moving my arms a lot because I have all this energy, and it's so hot. Anyways, I... One thing, one thing, let's get straight. I watch movies with subtitles on, even if they're in the language that I speak, because I enjoy reading along as it happens. I feel like... Because sometimes I'm, I don't know if I have hearing problems, but I misunderstand what people say. I don't know. I just want to be sure I know what they're saying. Also, subtitles give you, like, a deeper understanding of the movie. Like, I watched this horrible movie. I made a review twice on it, and each time it was two hours long. The Kissing Booth. In that movie, there is a character, never mentioned by name, and in the subtitles, her name is British Beauty, and I think that is the funniest thing ever, because she doesn't even have a name. Her only character point is that she's British. Anyways, that is way off topic, but the monster in the shape of water, they never name him or give him any sort of, like... They refer to him as him or it, that is, or monster or creature, whatever. They never try to give him a name. In the subtitles, his name is Amphibian Man, and Amphibian Man Coos is like every five seconds that he's in it. Anyways, if they had given him a name, they would have humanized him in a bit. They do not try to humanize this creature at all in the movie. And that disturbs me. It just... Complete... Bestiality. Complete bestiality. They... I'm not saying that it would have been okay if they did humanize him and she still did the horrible thing she did with him. I'm gonna spoil this movie, obviously, so if you haven't seen it, like, come back later or if you're okay with getting it spoiled, but I'm gonna spoil this movie. I should have said that earlier. She has sex with him multiple times in the movie. This is like that girl who has sex with her dog. Like, this is literally, I forgot her last name, but I think her name's Wisconsin. She has sex with her dog. That is the same caliber as this movie because, oh my god. She, okay, the main character of this movie, if you don't know, is mute. And that means that she cannot talk. So she does sign language and other things to communicate with those around her. I do have an issue with that, though, because, like, all of these people around her understand sign language. And it was, like, the 1960s and they don't have access, they don't have a lot of money, so how did they go to, like, classes or anything? They have a long, like, Zelda works all the time. They're both maids, her and the, her best friend, whatever, they're both maids. How do they get the time to go to a sign language class? Whatever, that is besides the point. What was I even saying? She is mute? And Amphibian Man can't talk. So she projects herself onto this being and it's like, oh, I have to save him. He's getting tortured and they're gonna kill him. So I have to break him out of this government facility. I have so many problems with this. The antagonist, the main antagonist of this movie is such a creep and I know they're trying to like villainize him or whatever 
but it's so... Ugh. He pulls off his fingers so many times in the movie for no reason, and it just creeps me out. I literally gagged so many times at, like, almost every time he was on scene. Like, I don't even know how his fingers came off. The amphibian man made his these two fingers come off of him. But he still has his finger, so that's okay. That's a quote from the movie, and I'm probably going to censor myself saying that, but that is a quote from the movie. Anyways, I watched this movie with my father and my younger brother, and I was so uncomfortable. The first five minutes of the movie, you see the main character masturbate two times. Ah! Anyways, whatever. Skipping to the, I hate this movie. I honestly hate this movie. Amphibian Man never shows any signs of, like, understanding. Okay, first off, 